antenatal supplements together with a healthy and balanced diet aid in the growth and development of the baby and ensure that the needs of the mother are met. This video will share with you all the important information on the antenatal supplements that are commonly prescribed by your doctor. You may skip ahead to each antenatal supplement by clicking on the respective segments on the loading bar. Kindly note that you may not receive all supplements mentioned in this video, as they will be prescribed based on the discretion of your doctor. Images in the video are for illustration only and subject to change. Please check with your doctor or pharmacist if you require further clarification. Please refer to the medication labels for the exact dosing instructions. Folic acid is a vitamin that is commonly taken during the first 12 weeks of pregnancy. It helps to reduce the risk of birth defects such as abnormal development of the spinal cord. Take one tablet once in the morning with or without food. It is usually well tolerated by most patients without any significant side effects. These multivitamins contain higher amounts of iron and folic acid than regular multivitamins and are specially formulated for pregnant mothers. They contain most of the essential vitamins required for you and your baby and are usually taken from the 12th week of pregnancy until delivery. Take one tablet after breakfast or lunch unless otherwise specified or instructed. Avoid taking it close to bedtime as the vitamin B contents may affect your sleep. In order to maximize the absorption of iron in these multivitamins, space them at least 2 hours apart from coffee or tea, milk and products containing dairy, and calcium supplements. These multivitamins may cause dark colored stools due to the excretion of iron, but this is harmless, so do not be alarmed. The high iron content may also cause constipation. Thus, it is advisable to drink more water and take plenty of fruits and vegetables to prevent this from happening. Fish oil preparations contain omega-3 fatty acids to help with the development of the baby's brain and eyes and are taken from the 12th week of pregnancy until delivery. The dose is usually 1-2 to two capsules once a day, which can be taken with or without food but are generally taken with your multivitamins for convenience. While fish oils are usually well tolerated, some patients may experience a fishy aftertaste, belching or flatulence. Calcium is required for the maintenance of your bone health and for the development of the baby's bones. The dose is usually 1-2 to two tablets once daily, from the 12th week of pregnancy until delivery. They are to be taken with or after food for better absorption. Some preparations may also contain vitamin D to enhance calcium absorption. In order to maximize the absorption of calcium, space them at least 2 hours apart from milk and products containing dairy and any other supplements containing iron. Calcium supplements may cause constipation. Thus, it is advisable to drink more water and take plenty of fruits and vegetables to prevent this from happening. Iron supplements are usually prescribed when the mother's hemoglobin levels are low. During pregnancy, the body requires more iron to produce red blood cells that help to deliver oxygen to the mother and the baby. The dose is usually 1 to 2 tablets once or twice a day. Certain iron supplements are better absorbed on an empty stomach. Please refer to the medication label for specific instructions with regard to taking with food. However, if stomach discomfort occurs, you may take it after food. In order to maximize the absorption of iron, space them at least 2 hours apart from coffee or tea, milk and products containing dairy and calcium supplements, unless otherwise specified. Iron supplements may cause dark colored stools due to the excretion of iron content, but this is harmless, so do not be alarmed. They may also cause constipation. Thus, it is advisable to drink more fluids and take more fruits and vegetables to prevent this from happening. Any medication or supplement is capable of inducing an allergic reaction. 
Hence, if this is the first time that you are consuming any of these supplements, do monitor for any signs or symptoms of a potential allergic reaction. These include swollen face, eyes, lips or tongue, difficulty in breathing, or skin rashes. If you experience any of these signs or symptoms, stop consuming the supplement and seek immediate medical attention. All medications should be stored in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight. The above medications can be kept at room temperature and do not need to be refrigerated. We hope that you now have a better understanding of your antenatal supplements. If you have any questions, feel free to approach our pharmacy staff. We wish you and your family the best of health always.